The following question is related to empirical formula. The question states that analysis of a sample of an oxide of nitrogen gave the following data. So, so we know that it's an, it's an oxide of nitrogen. We just don't know what the formula is. The data that's given is uh, percentage by mass of nitrogen is given, percentage by mass of oxygen is given, and he's asking what is the empirical formula of the oxide, and he's given you the AR of nitrogen and of oxygen. Now, uh, there's a simple two-step method of finding the empirical formula. Uh, you're going to make two columns, one for nitrogen and the other one for oxygen. We know the percentage mass. For nitrogen, the percentage mass that's given is 47%. And for oxygen, the percentage mass that's given is uh, 53%. So, uh, the first thing we need to find is we need to find the moles. Moles is mass divided by the atomic mass, which for nitrogen is 14 and uh, we're going to find the moles for oxygen as well so it's going to be 53 remember percentage mass we're going to treat percentage mass as mass so it's going to be 53 divided by the ar of oxygen which is 16 so using my calculator to find the values so i'm getting two values for nitrogen is 3.357 and for oxygen it's 3.313 and they're approximately the same uh, amount of moles uh, the next step is you find the simplest ratio to find the this ratio divide by the smallest which in this case is going to be uh, between the two values the smallest value is 3.313 and this also divided by 3.313 now approximately the simplest ratio that's coming out to be is going to be 1 ratio 1 if you divide them and you round them off uh, the values are approximately for this I'm getting 1 and for oxygen I'm also getting 1 which indicates that uh, in the formula, nitrogen and oxygen have a mole ratio of 1 ratio 1, which was pretty obvious from the moles that we got. 3.3 versus 3.3, that's approximately 1 ratio 1. Hence, the empirical formula for this compound is going to be option A, nitrogen monoxide, because it's 1 ratio 1.